Trashy Seagulls is a game about sabotage, risk taking, and competition. Each player takes on the fantasy of playing as a seagull with the goal of stockpiling the most valuables in their nest by the end of the game. Players can obtain valuables by swooping into human territory and stealing some or intercepting an opposing player's swoop. Be wary though, as your inventory increases in size, you will suffer greater and greater deductions to your rolls during swoops, intercepts, and frenzy. At the start, don't forget to shuffle your three card piles, food, mystery food, and valuables. Each player starts with 15 uh, health point tokens from the lifeboat. In order to determine who goes first, everyone rolls a dice. The highest roll goes first, then everyone else goes uh, in descending order. On your turn, you may attempt to swoop one of the three item types, food, valuables, or mystery food. Food will give you some health back, valuables will progress you towards winning, and mystery foods have the potential for massive health gains with the risk of taking damage. It is important that when you draw the card, it is face down and you slide it to the end of the table. Your opponents may attempt to intercept while another player is drawing a card, slapping the card before it reaches the end of the table. Note that this will always cost 2 HP to the attacker regardless if they win or not. And if you have 5 items, you must drop 2 turns to return to your nest as your inventory is full. This will also give you back 2 health points. Frenzy. Frenzy occurs when a player rolls a 1 during a swoop. All inventory items are then pulled into the middle, where the winner takes up to 3 items and every other player takes 3 damage. The second place takes 2 items and the third place takes 1. When rolling, um, players suffer minus 1 to all their rolls for every item in their inventory. And if two players have the same value roll after deductions, they uh, can re-roll. Later in the game, you might want to eliminate players who are ahead. If any player dies, their hand and nest go to the attacker's inventory or the frenzy winner, if it was a frenzy, and the remainder goes to the bottom of the valuables pile. For the game to end, one person must be the last seagull alive or have the most a va va amount of valuables in their nest once the valuables card pile runs up.